how are you, G.I. Joe? It seems to me that most of you are poorly informed about the going of the war, to say nothing about a correct explanation of your presence over here. Nothing is more confused than to be ordered into a war to die or to be maimed for life without the faintest idea of what's going on. Mrs. Tehung, why uh, did you have the name at one time in your life of Hanoi Hannah? Well, I think that it's the name the GIs called me. I, I announced myself on the radio as to whom, but I think that it's because the broadcast, the GIs, uh, came from Hanoi. That's why they call it Hannah, because I think Hannah is an American, the name of American woman, so maybe. What years did you broadcast on Radio Vietnam? Well, we call it a special broadcast to American GIs in well, fighting in South Vietnam at that time. So we, uh, we uh, gave news about the war that, that are going on at that time. And we uh, uh, also introduced uh, our tradition of uh, resisting against uh, aggression. We don't want the GIs to, to fight against the Vietnamese people. What uh, years were you on the radio? From when to when? I think it's, we began the broadcast at 65, around 1965. That's to say, the time the American troops were massively sent in South Vietnam to what fight the, the, uh, the war. And, and when did you stop broadcasting? 75, so when the Paris Agreement was signed, then the GIs were brought home. So we stopped the broadcast for the GIs, but the other broadcast for overseas listeners continue as usual. And how did you get that job in the first place? Well, I had been radio announcer long before I broadcast to the GIs, you see. So uh, when there was or in South Vietnam, we, uh, we initiate the program for the GIs. And as I'm a senior announcer, I was uh, entrusted with the work of uh, talking to the GIs over the radio. And where were you born? In Hanoi. In North Vietnam, I mean. Yes. Mm -hmm. What year did you go to work for Radio Vietnam? Uh, it's uh, in 1955. You, where'd you learn your English? In Hanoi also. How come? What was the reason for learning English? Well, it's, it sounds rather ridiculous, but uh, really, I learned in a French school, and I uh, saw many American movies at that time. I, I mean, before the liberation of Hanoi, the time Hanoi was still under French occupation, which I saw a lot of American films. And I just like to know, to understand uh, what the, uh, uh, the film stars, how you say, the actors uh, in their dialogue, what are they saying? So I just, I don't, uh, I feel I like to learn English. So I uh, took a special lesson in English with a uh, British woman in Hanoi.